Welcome to Weblog Cookies and Keys. Oh my. Welcome to Paul Allison's podcast or vlog or whatever this is. I'm uh, over here in New Jersey again, uh, along with Palisades. And uh, it's uh, Saturday, the last Saturday in October, the 28th. Got a few things to talk Good afternoon. The uh, rain came last night earlier than expected and finished today earlier than expected. So I'm able to get my run in. Hey there. How you doing? I uh, have a, a story to tell about this week. This week has been assessment week. I talked last time um, about how I was going to go about assessing my students' web blogs. And I more or less stayed to that. Uh, more or less. Uh, the detail that I was thinking um, on, upon, upon reading each blog was just too much work. I had to get through 140 of these things. Um, so, I, uh, I really kind of, for the high school students, um, measured their blog posts on a scale of one to five for each uh, for each piece of writing, and then a scale of one to five also for each um, image that they put on, and once again one to five for the podcast that they had produced. So you could earn 15 points. So basically, I looked quickly, read quickly, and graded each blog post on. I uh, gave giving them a 5, a 10, or a 15. And it gave me a good sense of what everybody had accomplished and uh, what needed to be accomplished. Um, the upshot is what I need to talk about. You know, to be quite honest, I, uh, I think there are probably two ways to look at grades. One is to think about their political significance, if I can call it that, at least their social significance. And that is, uh, what impact will giving this student this grade have on that student's continual work in my class? Um, how would it bring support or not from the parents and uh, other teachers who are working with that student. And so, uh, and then of course, what does your average grades, uh, what does that say to the administration and to other teachers about your classes and your work? Now, teachers don't like to talk about this way of grading, but it is certainly the way that I have used in the past and continue to use at times. Um, I, uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. The grades are kind of subjective and arbitrary often. However, there is another way to think about grading, and that is to kind of coldly, objectively look at the work and say what's there, and not worry about all that other stuff. Um, probably best is to be somewhere in between, isn't it? Those two positions when you grade. Curious if uh, you're watching this or thinking about this, how you grade and how that impacts on uh, how technology, use of technology might impact on your grading of students. For me, um, this time, this is a progress report, so I, uh, I didn't think about the political social side too much. I just looked at each profile of the student, which was a project they should have completed, and I looked at 
uh, the weblogs posts that they had published and I you know, just wrote down what they did and that was my the essence of my comment for each student as well you know uh, and East has done a very nice job of um, producing six posts in five weeks and uh, four of them have images and three have podcasts attached so she's gotten a very good grade. That kind of comment is the comment and the, the way I came up with grades. Now unfortunately what that led to was a uh, uh, <laughs> a higher percentage, much higher percentage of students not passing my class than, uh, than usual. And so many eyebrows were raised on the staff by parents who came in for parent-teacher conferences this week and uh, and the principal. So yeah, I got uh, an email from Mark on uh, on Friday morning. This was uh, after he and others, the guidance staff and so forth, had been through all the parent teacher conferences and uh, and uh, had done analyses of the grades that each of us had turned in and mine were problematic. Too many of my students were failing. Um, yeah, for example, in the 10th grade, half of my students are not passing. Um, and higher than that in the 12th grade and higher in the 8th uh, grade too. Now 7th grade is doing better in 6th grade and ninth grade. But I got an email from Mark saying there were more complaints about my grades than any other teacher in the school. I wasn't happy. Uh, I didn't know what to do. Uh, but I, uh, you know, I, I also felt a little defensive because Mark is always encouraging us to grade rigorously and to be specific and clear about how we give grades. And I think I was this time. Um, perhaps, though, I should have considered the uh, impact of my grades, the social political impact of my grades, a little more. But he and I are going to meet on Monday or Tuesday, and I have a special meeting with the seniors on Monday afternoon. And I gotta say, thinking about the one of the impacts is that every teacher who I've talked to who had questions about my grades um, talked to their students and supported me and supported me in, in saying that what I'm asking the students to do is not hard. They just got to do it already. And I uh, don't know if it's clear, but it's uh, difficult at times for students to take studio seriously. But that's what I'm asking them to do. And, uh, you know, I, I feel defensive, I feel upset, I feel angry, I feel stupid, I feel lots of different things about this eventuality of, of my grades, especially since I'm focusing so much on uh, something so new and, and I've been clear about it and I don't know, I just feel odd in some ways. And, uh, but, but I also, I'm hopeful, I'm hopeful that in the end, my decision to go ahead with, with as many views on this progress report as I did, will wake some people up and, and they will begin to produce interesting weblogs now that we're up and ready for them to do that. And they should be able to. They, that I've taught the skills for it. Now that of course is one of the rubs. And uh, you know to some degree and I mean this, uh, it sounds 
it sounds kind of cocky or um, arrogant or something, but in my talk with Mark, how's he going to help me with classroom management and even curriculum development? Um, uh, of course, anybody's opinion matters, but who can I talk to who's also worked in a computer center the way I work and uh, tried to produce a blog like we're trying to produce at uh, youthvoices.net? You know, how can he consult with me on that? He can help ask questions, I suppose, and, and pose ideas, but he's not talking from experience the way he is when he talks to other teachers in classroom situations. So I, I kind of feel for him and, and wonder um, how he's going to approach me on this, this question. I, I want to help him. I want to think about it. I, you know, the, the basic one question is, do I explain things well enough to students? And hey, no, I don't. <laughs> I, <laughs> I would love to explain things much better than I do. But um, do I try? You bet. I try lots and lots of different ways. And uh, can I get around to each student? Not always. Um, but setting up peers to help and, uh, and groups have done some of that can do more. Okay, hey, so I don't feel bad about uh, what I've done in this evaluation. But wow, has it ever been both an evaluation of the students and of me and my work. Look, if I had given all C's, or at least a few more, <laughs> um, this uh, season of evaluation and rethinking and commitment would have never happened. So, I think I did the right thing. And we'll let you know. <laughs> we'll let you know by the end of next week how it's going. Because I really do look forward to this week coming. Because I think, uh, I think, once kids start, and uh, certainly my grades reflect this because I had a lot, a lot of A's, and uh, as well as U's, just nothing in between. But once it gets started, uh, they'll be uh, interested to continue the blogging themselves, and uh, and we'll all be happier. So please stay tuned. This is uh, Paul Allison. You can uh, email me at Allison A L L I S O N P R at gmail.com and uh, listen in please at uh, teachers teaching teachers dot org uh, you can hear our live webcast on Wednesday evenings at 9 p.m. Eastern time and uh, that's all for now talk to you all soon